All right, I promise I'm not in terrible shape, but according to my pregnancy app, this is the time that I get a little shorter breath. So pardon my huffing and puffing. Also wearing a mask. This is the master bedroom, master suite. Again, great size for a downtown home. You've got the heavy draperies again, plantation shutters, but room for a chair. You've got a dresser, four poster bed, looks like a queen size. Um, dressing table, and then behind me, a pretty large bureau. So you could actually, you, know, you could definitely fit two nice size dressers in here, even three. So you've got this over here. Going into the bathroom, again, it's a little 2005 in here with the vessel sinks. You definitely have room to put in two there um, and a little bit of extra room if you wanted to add onto the counter space. The top is nice, looks like it's marble. It's white, it's coming across as kind of pink in the video, but it's white. Uh, cabinets, again, a little 2005. So you'd probably just go ahead and replace this vanity. And like I said, I think you could easily put in two sinks based on the space. Um, you've got a tub shower here with the good old jacuzzi jets. Um, strangely, every house I've, I've owned or lived in um, has had jacuzzi tubs. And they're nice to have. Um, toilet. This would be a perfect area to rip this out and do a nice five foot shower. Um, I'd have to measure and make sure it is indeed five feet, but it is the size of a standard tub. Pretty nice enclosure, and I don't think this is tile. Well, actually, I think it is. You've got this nice little border. So, again, it's not gaudy, it's not awful, but uh, you could definitely update it a little bit. Um, you've got linen storage here, which I think I might change to more closet space, because um, this is a lot of shelf storage and you might benefit, and you'll see in a second kind of what you're working with as far as closet. You might benefit from making that his closet and having her take this one, which again has a lot of shelving that you could convert into racks. Um, looks like they've kind of put these little bins in here and they use them for socks and things like that. Uh, again, the plantation shutters and super heavy drapery. You've got some more kind of top shelving, good storage in here. Um, but again, you've got this rack and you've got this rack um, and then a rack down below. So there is a pretty decent amount, but it sure would be nice to have a his and hers closet and make that linen closet um, his closet. And then maybe you could keep some of these shelves uh, for linen storage or you have this area here that you could put you know, a piece of furniture and store your linens there. Um, there's a pocket door here that closes off the closet. And, you know, good elbow room in here. This is a nice size uh, master suite all in all. Um, and good storage, which is not something I say when I'm showing downtown very often. Up there is the attic. We'll go up there in a minute. Here you have the hall bathroom, again with a vessel style sink, plantation shutters. This one's got the beadboard molding around the bottom. This is also home to your washer and dryer, so you have to do a stacked unit, but these are pretty big units. Got room on the side here for your earning board and laundry um, necessities. Not really any space for folding, but it's really close to all the bedrooms. So probably not a big deal. Um, this is the same tile setup as in the master tub here, regular, no jets for the guests. But again, it's white, it's neutral, it's passable if you didn't want to update all the bathrooms right away. Transom window, original little medicine cabinet, and you could easily update um, the sink vanity put something with a little bit more storage. Okay, bedroom number two, again with the six panel doors and the nice original hardwood floors. I'm assuming they're original, don't quote me on that. It's a pretty decent sized room. 
You do have the fireplace. Um, and we've got screens kind of hiding linens and things, but there's nothing permanent back there. Um, it's just for storage. Got a huge armoire here. Um, closet there, peek in there in a second. And this uh, twin size bed. I think if it were me, I'd probably put the bed against that wall. And I think you could easily fit a queen in here and have a little spot for a dresser there where they have their printer. It looks like maybe they use this as a little bit of a home office. And then standard size closet here, just a single closet with a rack and a shelf above. And we will visit the third bedroom. This one is a little bigger and more functional because it doesn't have the fireplace. Got the rowing machine in here, a little bench. Large armoire, uh, behind there is a safe that would likely go with them. So again, nothing permanent that you would have to work around. Um, and then this room actually, oh, there we go. I was about to say, it doesn't have a closet, but it certainly does. Same deal as next door, just your basic single closet with a hanging rack and a shelf above. So this is probably the bigger of the two bedrooms. Neither are tiny by any means. Um, and again, just some big furniture. Not sure if you would need it, but there's plenty of space for dressers, queen size, full size bed, um, and the plantation shutters again in here. Cafe style, just on the bottom. All right, let's go upstairs. You're gonna go with me so you can see how many stairs. Again, sorry for the huffing and puffing. So, storage here. And a good amount of walk-in storage here, which they are definitely utilizing. Your HVAC equipment is straight ahead, um, but you've got Floored storage all the way over to the eaves. So, again, not something we see a ton of in downtown homes. Um, the excess attic storage. So, it looks like they have all their Christmas stuff up here and the typical things sleeping bags, suitcases, but a good amount of storage, all accessible, plenty of headspace. So, this is quite nice. <laughs> 